I, I love 28, man. I like being 28. It's nice. I've, I've been an adult for 10 years, technically. It's kind of scary to think about, like, have I made progress? Where am I at? And it, like, I feel like I was an idiot from 18 to about Wednesday, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumb. I think about sex too much. I thought that would go away as I got older, and it's not going away. It's kind of scary. I did a gig a couple of years ago. There were two guys in the front that were about 45, and I said to the crowd, I was like, I thought the sex thoughts would go away as I got older, and these two guys were like, laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and one of them went, no, nah, man, it doesn't go away. It just gets weirder. <laughs> There was an older lady behind there with grey curly hair who went <laughs> a lot weirder. <laughs> How's it getting weirder? It's pretty weird already. I like sex. It's a great way to meet new people, but it fucking gets expensive, you know? So you gotta... <laughs> like, I remember when I was 20, I met this girl who was beautiful and amazing. You know, you meet someone so special. I was crazy about this girl. And I wanted the sex to be perfect the first time we did it. And I was thinking about it so much. I got scared. When we went to have sex, I couldn't get hard, which is very embarrassing. And, uh, thank you. And she didn't deal with it that well. She kind of freaked out. She was like, what the fuck? Am I not pretty enough for you? What the fuck is wrong with you? And even after that, encouragement, I still couldn't get hard. <laughs> Especially because now that I'm a bit older, that's the only thing that gets me hard. Fuck yeah. Oh, a bit of emotional torment? Absolutely. Maybe a punch in the face. Get it going. It was, it was actually thought my dick was a marine at basic training. You know, you got to yell at it. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're an embarrassment. It's going to jump up like, sorry, sir. <laughs> I went to a dick doctor! I really like that girl! I went to a dick doctor to try and figure it out, man! I just don't even know if that's a real kind of doctor. Just a doctor looked at my dick, so in my head I was like, dick doctor. <laughs> like any doctor could be a dick doctor if you show them your dick, technically, right? A doctor of journalism, even? Fuck it, get it out. Just order him in the hallway. <laughs> Uh, the reason I went was because most of my friends we were all 20, so they were fucking idiots as well. I went to them for advice. I was like, I really like this girl, couldn't get hard, what do you think? And their advice was like, boy, maybe you're gay, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm really trying to be serious with you, man. They're like, yeah, seriously, gay. <laughs> The doctor was the only person who explained to me the way the nervous system works is a fight or flight response. If you're feeling nervous or anxious about anything, your body thinks you're going to have to like run away or fight. And it puts the blood in those parts of your body for running away and fighting. And he said to me, it takes the blood away from your dick, mate. Because obviously, you can't fight with your dick. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are like me, but when someone tells me I can't do something, I'm like, is that a challenge? <laughs> Fuck you. Like, I googled dick fight after that doctor's appointment. <laughs> Urban Dictionary defines a dick fight. <laughs> That's when two guys stand across from each other, hold their dicks together, rub them together, and the person who comes first is the loser. <laughs> Because having an orgasm, that's for fucking losers! It's weird bullying. You gotta calm your fucking nerve. <laughs> but the doctor gave me four Viagras, which was very nice of him. No condoms, just four Viagras. That's like giving a gun to a toddler. <laughs> I think that was his way of saying, mate, you've got more problem than we have time for right now, and I don't want to give you a hug, so go fuck someone. Enjoy 